Good morning all. Hope you are doing well. In the previous video of library classes, we did package, wrapper class, auto boxing, unboxing. In continuation to that, today we will be doing the functions of the wrapper classes. Few functions to convert string into different primitive data type and few character functions as per your ICSC slippers. The functions which we will be doing today are there in the PDF format also. The link is given in the description box. You may download that and practice that. So let's begin. First we are doing conversion from string to primitive data types. In this string to integer type data how you will convert. For converting this you can use two functions. Either you can use integer dot parse int function or you can use the second function integer dot value of. These two functions can be used to convert string to integer type. Now let's take the example. Suppose the string is you have stored 25 into a string and I want to convert this 25 into int data type that is primitive data type. So you will write int variable name any variable name you can use and you can use the function any of these functions integer dot parse int and from which string you want to convert that string name you can write here or you can use int variable name equals to integer dot value of the string variable name. So after this you will get the value of a equals to 25 in int format. Next we have to convert string to long type data. For doing so you can use either long dot parse long function or long dot value of function. Let's take the example if a value is stored in S say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I have stored. Now I want to convert this string value into long type. For that we need a long variable long L equals to you can use long dot parse long. of s or we can use long l equals to long dot value of s. Doing so the value of l will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in long type. Here when you are using function this l and this l of long will be in capital L and O will be in capital rest all the letters will be in small case. Next we want to convert string to float type. For that float dot parse float or float dot value of functions can be used. Suppose the value 12.34 is stored as string type. I want to convert this into float. So we have to take a variable of float type float f equals to float dot parse float of s. Either this you can use or you can use the second function float f equals to float dot value of s. So either of the function can be used again here f and o capital f and f is it capital. So if you know one function, the other functions are very easy to remember. So float, this float, these are what? Wrapper classes. So we are using wrapper classes function to convert the string value to different primitive type values. Next we have to convert string value to double type. For this double dot parse double or double dot value of function can be used. 
you can take the example if 12.29 is stored as string value we can use double d equals to double dot pass double of s or you can use the second function double d equals to double dot value of s using any of these functions you can convert the string value into double type now these functions are used to convert string to numeric long double int float so that these variables once converted can take part in mathematical calculations now we will be doing few character functions of wrapper class character the character functions begin with the word character capital C which indicates that these functions are of the wrapper class character so the first function which we are doing is character dot is letter किसी भी function name में अगर is आ रहा है तो उसका return type हमेशा boolean होगा so this function is letter ये check करेगा कि जो हम इसको character दे रहे हैं as argument वो अगर letter है तो answer true होगा otherwise the answer will be false so the answer of this function will be boolean type so we have taking boolean variable equals to the function name character dot is letter और यहाँ पर हम character pass करेंगे इसको as argument जिसकी checking करनी है let's take the example say boolean a equals to character dot is letter m since m is a character so the answer of a will be here true if i take another example boolean a equals to character dot is letter and you give say 2 2 is not a letter so the value of here in this case will be false so is letter functions check if the given argument is a letter it will return true if it is not a letter it will return false for all other arguments except the letter the answer will be always false the next function is character dot is digit is digit kya ye digit hai agar digit hai to answer true otherwise answer false the syntax is boolean variable boolean hamesha lenge agar is hoga kyunki wo answer true ya false mein dega boolean variable equals to character dot is digit of the character then boolean a equals to character dot is digit i have written m here so answer will be false because m is not a digit in second case character dot is digit of 2 answer will be true now here whether it is a letter or the digit we are passing the character value character within single quotes character is always character constant is always enclosed single quotes aap ye nahi bologe ki 2 likha hai to hum isko bina single quotes ke de de hum keval character constant yaha pe likh rahe hai character value likh rahe hai to usko aap yaha par single quotes mein likho ge agar aapko single quotes mein nahi likhna hai then you can take the variable char ch equals to the value in character format and here you can write the variable name. So either you write the character variable here or you give the character constant enclosed in single quotes. Then the next function is character dot is letter or digit. In the function name L O N D these three letters are written capital this function returns true if the given character argument is letter or digit otherwise in all remaining cases it returns false let's take the example boolean a equals to character dot is letter or digit of p p is letter so the value of a will be true the 
next example is letter or digit of question mark. Question mark is a symbol which is neither a letter nor a digit. So it will return false. Then next we have 2 as character given in the argument. So 2 is a digit. Hence it will return the answer in true. I hope this function is also clear to you. The next function is character dot is white space. Ye check karega blank ke liye. Agar given character blank hoga, space hoga, to it will return the answer in true. Otherwise, it will return the answer in false. Syntax boolean variable equals to character dot is white space of character. Let's take the example. Boolean A equals to character dot is white space M. M is a space? No. So answer will be false. A equals to character dot is white space a blank character. Obviously the answer will be true because it will check for the blank. Agar wo blank hai to answer true aayega otherwise answer false aayega. The next example we have passed on 2 as argument. So 2 is again not a space. So answer will be false over here. So this function checks for the blank. If it is a space, the answer will be true. Otherwise, false. The next function is character dot is uppercase. In computer language, uppercase means the capital letters and lowercase means the small letters. So is uppercase, you check karega given argument, given character. Capital hai ki nahi. Agar capital uppercase character hai, then it will return the answer in true. Otherwise, false. The syntax is boolean variable equals to character dot is uppercase of the given character. Let's take the example boolean a equals to character dot is uppercase. And I have written here small m. So is it a uppercase character? No. So answer will be false over here. The next example character dot is uppercase of capital M here. So answer will be true. And then third example I have given here 2 as argument. So 2 digit hai. Wo uppercase ya lowercase mein nahi ho sakta hai. So, is the aapka answer yaha par aayega false. So, ye is uppercase aapka keval letters ko check karega. Agar wo letter capital hai, to answer true aayega. Otherwise, in rest all the cases answer will be always false. The next function is is lowercase. Just reverse of the uppercase function. Ye function check karega agar given character, given argument small letter hai. So answer true otherwise in all remaining cases answer will be false. Let's take the examples. Character dot is lowercase of m. m is a letter in written in small letters. So it is true. Answer will be true. The next is character dot is letter is lowercase m capital M. So answer will be false here. And the third example, character dot is lowercase of 2. No, again 2 is a digit. So, answer will be false here. So, this will check only for the small letter. I hope it is clear. The next function is character dot to uppercase. Abhi tak humne jitne bhi functions ki hai hai, usme function name start ho raha tha is se. To is aapka question form mein answer hamesha boolean type return karega. लेकिन अगर किसी भी फंक्शन में फंक्शन का नाम स्टार्ट हो रहा है टू से दैट मींस ये समथिंग रिलेटेड टू कन्वर्जन ही कन्वर्ट कर रहा है एक को दूसरे में सो so, इसका रिटर्न टाइप हमेशा आर्गुमेंट टाइप होगा अगर हम कैरेक्टर आर्गुमेंट दे रहे हैं तो रिटर्न में भी हमको कैरेक्टर ही मिलेगा सो द सिंटेक्स सेज कैर वेरिएबल इक्वल्स टू कैरेक्टर डॉट टू अपर केस ऑफ द गिवन कैरेक्टर जो कैरेक्टर दिया है उसको ये अपर केस कैरेक्टर में कन्वर्ट करेगा अब किस कैरेक्टर को हम कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं अपर केस में 
स्मॉल कैरेक्टर को स्मॉल केस वाले कैरेक्टर को अगर वो ऑलरेडी अपर केस में है तो वो अपर केस में ही रहेगा कोई डिजिट है तो सेम रिटर्न होगा कोई स्पेशल कैरेक्टर है देन इट विल रिटर्न द सेम कैरेक्टर लेकिन अगर कोई स्मॉल केस में कैरेक्टर है देन ओनली दिस विल रिटर्न द आंसर इन अपर केस इट विल कन्वर्ट दैट कैरेक्टर इन टू अपर केस लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल कैर ए इक्वल्स टू कैरेक्टर डॉट टू अपर केस ऑफ पी पी आई हैव रिटर्न इन स्मॉल लेटर्स so the value of a will be here p character dot two upper case of m m is already in capital so there will be no change it will return m and the third example says for two as argument so the answer will be here two that means if it is small case character then it is converted to upper case otherwise without any change it will return the same value the next function is character dot to lower case just reverse of up to upper case function in this if the given character given argument is in upper case then it will convert that to lower case otherwise it will return same character in the answer so the syntax says char variable equals to character dot to lower case of the given character then a equals to character dot to lower case of p p kis mein hai already lower case mein hai to convert kya karega kuch nahi it will return the same answer the next is character dot to lower case of m here m is capital so it will be converted into lower case and the answer of a will be m character dot to lower case of this digit 2 so it is not a letter so the same will be returned okay i hope all these functions are clear to you we have two videos for the topic library classes you can watch the videos any doubt any problem you can ask in the comment box i'll be so happy to help you out from this topic around 2 to 4 marks questions comes in section a and these functions are also used in the programs of section b so prepare them well the link is given in the description box for the pdf file you can download and prepare those who haven't subscribed the channel yet please do so and press the bell icon so that no important topic is missed by you and you get all the notifications keep practicing keep studying god bless you